What's up everyone, it's DV and I'm here to show you something you've been wanting for a while now and that's how to auto FK wizards. Not only wizards, but buffle core and slimes as well. With these methods, you're gonna be able to farm a ton of spell pages, buff crystals, gold, iron, and gears of all colors. And remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. You're gonna need, especially for the wizards, auto is a macro recorder. Slime and buffle core do not need a macro. So if you don't know how to macro, um, check out my other video. I already created a video dedicated to macros. So you can check that out separately. I've got a link in the description. So let's get to it. So we're gonna go and start out with the hammer with these guys. So with the slimes, it's only it's pretty it's pretty limited what you can do. I've tried over here. This is not a very good spot, but what I did find is if you go over to this tree over here, it's actually a pretty good spot. You get you get quite a few. Um, so you can hang out like right around here, right there typically. And you can see this guy's already like trying to get me. I think it's like also right here is a good spot, and they'll just keep coming around. You can also go straight down if you need to. So there's a slime like. It's like, I think it's this one right here that respawns every couple seconds or so. You just need to see what that path is. And if you see that they, he stopped, it's like there's like some code inside these inside the mob, some AI that make it so they stop at a certain amount of time. You see how it paused and it started resuming again. So you could pretty much find there's like I think it's like right there. I did notice if you hold the space bar down, you have a better chance of killing them. Um, it's it's almost like it wakes them up when you move. So if you want to hold down that, you could just put some kind of weight on your space bar or macro it. Always comes back to the same spot. So it, you can ignore the one on the left. Just you know jump right here and that other one that will just keep respawning over and over and over. And at some point, this one's gonna actually get in your spot. But you see, I'm just, I'm doing the same thing over and over and I'm grinding these. And I've actually gotten pink slimes doing this. I mean, you can kind of move over a little bit if you really want to. I would just kind of stay right here. See, we got a blue one coming up. I'm clicking right now actively, but you can just auto click this. See, and it might take a little while. You gotta be careful. You know, I think jumping's a little bit better, a little safer too, so you don't get hit. Now, I will tell you the best way to auto these is gonna be through macro using the same technique that I'm gonna show you with, with the wizards. So so you can use the spell book and you can pretty much sit like right here and you can auto them all day. So I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So let's go over here and I'm going to show you how to do buffle core. So first we're going to use a hammer with buffle core. So before I begin, I do want to give a special shout out and thanks to police cow 484, also known as junior Jack from my discord for finding this one. So he found this technique while he was farming wizard keys to help me out. It was really cool that he found this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to um, go ahead and take these guys to reset them all. So I just reset them all real quick. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to run over here with the hammer. And it's about like right about here. You can see they get stuck on that corner right there. You might need to jump, you know, auto jump a bit. And it's only going to be the one. So I'm going to go and auto this now. And I'm just going to hold down the space bar. So you can see where I'm at. I'm on like that little patch of grass. And if you have to get a little bit a little higher, you can. You can go like a little further back. So again, if they get like this, you need to just jump and then reset. So that is how you do it with the hammer. Next one I'm going to show you, which is way better and safer, is we're going to go ahead and reset this guy right here. So he's not so far away. We're gonna run over here and about like right here, right in between. You can kind of even go like right there. We're gonna go and auto click. I mean, look how OP this is. So you get pretty much overnight like this and then you'll get buff cry all night long and gold just sitting here behind this wall. It's a really, really good find again by a police cow. So I already got an island key. So it's a great way for you to farm island keys too. On top of that, if you really want to AFK gold, um, I did find a technique to auto AFK gold, but it's not the prettiest. So one of the things I did notice is that these nodes don't really change much. The most effective way might be to do this. So you have like, you line yourself up and macro movement and you just travel to each node here and you stop right there, macro that it's actually considered like left mouse button held or hold whenever you're doing like macros make sure it's set to hold but you don't want to have an issue where you're, over time like you're kind of inching a little further away like this so you'd have to so in order to do this you'd really have to make sure you're accurate on your returns okay so like what i could have done is started right here and then ended like against this tree so that way i know i'm stopping so i would like do this so i'd start here and then that way when i return i'm ending in the same location that would be one way to do this. So you just need to make sure you're lined up correctly. All right, so we're in the wizard area. I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you how to auto. You can find, you can use any of these guys. I'm gonna just go and pick this guy out. And we're gonna take him out so we can reset his position. Um, but before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the macro. So I'm gonna use Pullover's macro. You can use Tiny Task too. It does take a little bit more work for Tiny Task. So what we're gonna do with Pullover macro is we're going to go ahead and insert key to make sure I'm always selecting the first book whenever we start the loop. So we're gonna go ahead and do an insert for selecting this right here. And then we're going to do some clicks. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple left clicks in here. We're gonna do like, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do 10 of those and then we're going to switch to two so let's go ahead and do a two here and with that we're going to do a hold 
So we're gonna insert a mouse left hold and we're gonna do a send on that because the send is what gets us to feel like it's the actual hold down. And then we're going to, and we made it, we're gonna test this out. We may need to increase that delay. Just let's just go ahead and try this out real quick. Okay, see it's it's the delay is not long enough, so we're gonna go ahead and pause that. We'll give it a full second. That's perfect. Okay, let's go try this out. What's cool about this script is you can see I'm actually eating while I macro. So like it's so fast. Typically, if you use if you if you try to use like tiny tasks, it would be a lot harder. But the fact is I'm healing while attacking. This is OP. And you can use this on anything. I mean, you can use this on Buffalo Core too. I'll show you Buffalo Core. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and we're gonna show you how to do this on Buffalo Core as well. So Pullover is actually an incredibly powerful tool because you can write all the scripts. Um, auto Hotkey, if you already have Auto Hotkey or some other scripting program, you can do the same. You can see I just I just spend one second on a mouse hold to be able to eat, but right away, right after that second, I'm already firing. So the difference between like a tiny task that just records whatever you're doing is it's not as, those aren't as fast as a scripted um, macro, like a actual like macro creator. So let's go ahead and start it on these guys. So I could probably just, let's see if I can just stand here. So even if I take damage, it doesn't really matter. So I could just sit here. Now they might push you back a little bit. You got to be careful with that. Hopefully they won't push you off the island. <laughs> so you might want to get like, you might want to have the island base behind you. Oh, it is. Okay. So yeah, you could probably sit right here just in case they do push you. So let's go ahead and go over to the slime island. So you could do this with uh, slime as well. You just need to find a good spot for it. I haven't really tested many spots for it yet. I'm sure you can find one. But I would say as long as there's like no way for them to ever spawn behind you, because otherwise this this will break. So you kind of want to be on like um, the outer edge. And just so if you reset everything, you'll see like where everyone's spawning. And then once you know where everyone's spawning, then you're not going to have an issue. You might, for these, you might want to actually use a, you might want to use like a hammer for this one instead. So let's go ahead and pause this. Let's switch to hammer to see if it's more effective. I think it will be, especially with these guys. You kind of need close range. All right, let's go ahead and unpause that. Dude, I'm getting ganged up on here. So I'd say somewhere maybe around here. Hey, so he spawned behind me. The nice thing is even if you get ganged up on, look, they can't kill me. Maybe we'll go just in the middle here. We'll just put it like right here. We'll just randomly put our pointer right there. You know, in fact, what I can do, I'm gonna actually do something crazy. I'm gonna do something crazy. This is gonna be actually, I'm gonna tiny task this at the same time. Watch this. All right, I'm gonna play that back. I just combined two macros. And now, now because this is not working, because they're ignoring me now, right? They're ignoring me. You can actually get something like this and then I'll reactivate them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I could do? You know what you should do is just set it so that, let me go ahead and stop this playback. I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. So what we do is we're gonna go like right in the center and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go top down and then I'm gonna put the mouse right, right under me to watch. Now I could do some, I could do one more thing that would be game breaking and I'm not gonna do that on this. I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna show you. All right, so that's another way you can auto farm slime is just by jumping up and down and healing yourself using the same technique we use for wizards. You could do the same for buffalo core. Buffalo core are a little bit more difficult. Um, you're gonna wanna be really careful with those. So like if you're gonna do um, this again, so maybe you wanna use a hammer, especially because they, they can jump on you, you might wanna use the hammer. So let's go ahead and show this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, come up over here and I'm just gonna jump. And you can just jump right on them so you can get get a head start of this. So you could pretty much do this all day. Like just alternating between them. I think the spell would be a better approach, just back up to the uh, the wall here. But yeah, this is, a, this is a way you can do it. You're pretty much invincible now. You're pretty much invincible. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.